Tonight I did my book report on Black Privilege by Leonard McCleavy. He's a radio host and TV personality. He also goes by the name Charlemagne of God. He was born in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, Charlemagne um, grew up in Monk's Corner. That's a small town in South Carolina, which he describes in the book as a very rural trailer park area. Um, so Charlemagne was born in June 29th, 1978, and he is a radio host and TV personality. This book is really a memoir and a coming of age type of book. It's a, really a self-help book and all of that rolled into one. I thought it was going to be good for a read as college students because it has a lot of real life situations and a lot of self-help information. Um, one of the reasons that drew me to wanting to do this book report was a lot of the history that Charlemagne brings up inside the book. He talks a lot about his troubles as a youth and everything that help him got to where he is today. Um, one of the people he talks about in the book is a man named Denmark Vesey. Denmark was born St. Thomas in the Caribbean in 1767. He ended up being sold to a ship captain who was brought to Charleston. After some time, he was smart enough and could read and he actually won a lottery and won his freedom. Denmark was a slave from Charleston. Um, in the book, he goes on a lot about when he was young and how growing up in a small rural area um, helped him become who he was. And Charleston has a lot of history when it comes to things like slaves and um, being a very rich cultural place. So. As a teen, he said he moved from Charleston to Monk's Corner. Um, the book in particular had a lot of information that would basically be what he called jewels on real life and just any particular situation that you might be going through that could help you create a better opportunity for yourself. Um, Charlemagne um, is a radio host, so he talks a lot on his show about helping people and helping them get out of the situation that they're in. Um, that's another thing that drew me closer to the book that one, and I wanted to elaborate on when it came down to being in a situation where you wanted to do better and be in a better position. As us, as college students, I thought it was very important for us to have this type of book um, brought to our attention because we are all trying to go in a certain direction, whether it's finishing college, going to get another degree or bettering our lives and wanting to get a better job or moving forward in a positive direction. I thought this book would be a good read for all of us as students and I wanted it to be something that we could reach back on and maybe grab knowledge from and eventually turn those things into our own jewels and maybe one day pass them on to help other students and help them become better people. Um, one other thing that I like about this book was it was very interesting to know that he came from South Carolina. I'm, I live in South Carolina. This is where I'm taking the class. I know Columbia College is located in Columbia, South Carolina. And before Charlemagne got his big break, he walked and he lived on those same streets. He was in Columbia every day, striving to get um, better opportunity for work. And he um, eventually applied to a radio station as a VJ for the morning show. And he actually was an intern and 
after I think a year or so, he turned that into a job. He started working with a woman y'all might know. Um, it's called Wendy Williams. Um, he did have a small stint on her show for uh, about two to three years. And then they ended up having some disagreements and he went in separate ways. So with him being from Colombia, I feel like that was another thing that um, his presence and his energy came from right here where we are. So a lot of times we get a bad break in South Carolina, like it's not big enough or we have to go to a big city like New York or Miami or California to make something out of our lives when, as he explains in his book, black privilege is something that you make and it's a type of energy that comes from what you want yourself to be. It's something that we have to all take into consideration that it's not about where we're from, it's about the opportunity that we can create ourselves. Um, I want to let Charlemagne explain some of this, so I will let him talk and say what oh, black why privilege is. Black privilege, the phrase was so controversial for some people. Yeah, because uh, people see black privilege and they automatically think it's black not privilege. Which oh, I was about to say it's not, it's not recording, but it is blinking. You know, like, like, oh, black people don't have no privilege, and you're making white people feel like we're equal and you know what i'm simply trying to tell people is i think it's a privilege to be black you know i think when you look at the word privilege it has two definitions one one definition is you know uh, advantages granted to a certain community but the other definition is an honor to be and i think it's an honor to be in this black skin i don't think that my black skin is a liability i don't think it's a a burden and i just feel like we have access to a divine system that causes us to, to, to that we can tap into that causes us to prosper in spite of everything that's thrown at us in this country. So for me, it's just, I'm just trying to restore that feeling of like black pride, you know, black excellence, black, black power. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good evening.